Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining you about two most important APIs of Unix system programming that is STAT and FSTAT APIs. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And don't forget to share the video and please don't forget to like the video. So let me begin the explanation of STAT and FSTAT API. The STAT and FSTAT API mainly use it to retrieve the attributes of a given file. For example, file attributes can be name of the file, ID of the file, uh, last access time, last modified time. So these are all the attributes of a given file. If you want to retrieve this information, you can use this APIs STAT and FSTAT. The only difference between STAT and FSTAT is the first argument of the STAT is a path name of a file and the first argument of the FSTAT is the file descriptor. To know the attribute, you should have a way to find the address of a file, right? So, where how you are going to find that uh, file means in the uh, STAT function, you are going to find the file using the path name. In the FSTAT function, you are going to find the file using the file descriptor. So, you can see the prototypes there. So, in the STAT function, the first argument is a path name and the STAT V is the, uh, it is a structure actually, I will explain right in the next uh, slide. So, this fstat, uh, first argument is uh, file descriptor. So again, the stat v is the second argument in fstat also. So stat v can uh, present in both the uh, prototypes. So these are the uh, arguments. So the second argument to stat and fstat is the address of the struct stat type variable. It is a variable, it is a uh, stat variable and it uh, it is uh, in the form of a structure. So why we use structure means structure can store the different uh, data in a single place. So here the, the de uh, details of that stat variable uh, is present in the sysstat.h header. So it declaration you can see there its declaration contain uh, different different types of attributes that are related to file. So if you execute this uh, prototype stat or fstat, all these uh, attributes can be retrieved of a, uh, per a, for a particular file, right? So the only difference in stat and fstat is uh, stat uses path name, fstat uses uh, fstat uses the file descriptor, right? So you can see there. So these are all the data types. That is uh, time underscore t. Uh, INO underscore T, mode underscore T, these are all the derived data types. So, this derived data types is going to store the data per, that is uh, related, to the, uh, related to the attributes. You can see there, file system ID is stored in the uh, data type dev underscore T, file inode number is stored in inode underscore T, file permission is uh, stored in uh, a data type mode underscore t you can see user id with group id uh, file size last access time last modification time all these details will be stored in the structure called stat right if you execute this uh, prototype uh, all these details of a particular file can be retrieved right if you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section, right? So, if this prototype is executed successfully, the return value will be zero. The, if it's successful, the return value is zero. But if this uh, function fails, uh, the value is minus one. And also, uh, if the uh, minus one means it's going to fail me, it's going to fail, right? So, error, error detail should be also, uh, right? Uh, displayed to the customer, uh, displayed to the user, right? So how it's going to do that means it's going to do that using a error number. So error number variable contains the error status code, right? So the lstat function prototype is same as the tough stat, right? So you can see there lstat, lstat again lstat also contains the argument path name. 
so l stat is the same as the stat it is instead of stat if you use l stat also no problem it is going to retrieve the attributes of a given file right so and one more important thing we can determine the file type what type of file i am going to use write the type of the file with a macros so there are different types of macros present to determine the file type so you can see here if you are uh, using a regular file you can use a macro to find out whether i am using a regular file or not so isreg s underscore isreg it's going to identify whether the file you are using a regular file or not uh, whether if you want to find out where the file you are using is a directory file or not you can use uh, isdir to check whether it's a character special file you can use isschr uh, to if we to check whether it's a block special file you can use isblk it's a pip file whether uh, to check whether the file you are using is a pip or a pip you can use a macro yes underscore is 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 pip is pip right if uh, to check whether it's a symbolic link file you can use uh, is link so uh, if you to check whether your file is a socket file type you can use uh, is sock right so you can use this macros to find out what type of file you are using right so that's it guys uh, hope you understood the concepts suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video